Alright, so it's time to level up and we are going to discuss count if and sum if. So for example, we want to find the total count of employees per supervisor. So instead of doing it manually like 1, 2, 3, 4, why don't you use Excel function to automate that process? So we need to count if, open parenthesis, it has two arguments, the range and the criteria. So the range refers to the column or to the cells where you want to perform the counting. And that would be column C. You could highlight the entire column like this, C2 to C11, or get the entire column C instead of just the cells. So personally, I prefer getting the entire column because if I do this, that means that if I added more employees to my list, they will automatically be counted because my formula is waiting for new entries. Unlike when you highlight the cells only, then if you added more names in your list, they will not be counted because you only highlighted the original cells C2 to C11. So instead, I'm going to highlight the entire column C, comma, and then we're looking for the criteria or the criterion. What am I counting? What am I looking for in this column? I am looking for the name Benilda Doliente. So I could type it if I want. So I, I place them inside quotation marks because they are texts. Enter and you should see that I got an error because I may have missed build something or I may have put some unnecessary spaces here so this is not good okay so rather instead of doing this you could just get a cell that contains the name that you are looking for so let's say G2 close G2 contains the name of the supervisor that I want to count enter and as you could see I managed to get the total count of the supervisor name one two three four five and i could also double click and now i got the count of people under the supervisor arnel de sagun now the next one is i want to get the sum of sales per supervisor now this one requires something similar to count if we need sum if now, just qu quickly review, count if, column C, and then a cell containing the criterion that we are looking for, CC, comma, G2. Sum if also follows that criterion, sum if, column C, G2. Count if and sum if are very much the same. However, with sum if, you have some range what column can i find the numbers that i will add sum range sum which range not column a i cannot add the first names i cannot add the statuses i want the items sold under column e close enter and you have 2655 what happened here is that sum if added only those that are under this criterion Benilda Doliente under column C so if we want to double check I could filter the data so just click any one cell go to data filter and I would select only Benilda Doliente click OK so now I only have those that are under this supervisor Let's see, highlight them. And the total, okay, is 2655. I'll show them again. Click OK. Double click to also get the next. And that's it. Very simple. Let me just have a quick review. Let's say another uh, problem. I want to count how many are pending, how many are complete. How many are on hold? How many statuses are there for each? So equals, I want to count. So that would be count if 
open parenthesis, column D, because that's where the statuses are, comma, and you could type it, no worries, that's fine. 1, 2, 3, 4. However, if you do this, it's prone to wrong spelling. And at the same time, if I double click the fill handle, I will always get 4 because quote pending quote will remain the same in all these cells. So rather, I will get this cell, G7, because this cell contains the value that I'm looking for, pending. Enter. So I got 4. Difference is that if I double click this, I now have an updated answer. Completed 4, correct. On hold 2, 1, 2, correct. As you could see, very simple. Count if, range. Here we go, the entire column D. And the criteria or the criterion. What am I looking for? I'm looking for the word spending in column D. Just to share with you, I could also find the average per status, for example. And if there is some if, we also have average if. Average if follows the very same logic as a sum if. Average if, I want the statuses and I want this status specifically, comma, and then I want the numbers to be averaged. What range am I going to average? So that would be column E. Close, enter, so the status average for pending is 553. Double click to get the rest. And there you have it, mission accomplished. Count if, count how many instances are there. Sum if, which sums the instances, for example, how many item sold for this person column C G2 that's the criteria and then EE is the column to be added just remember put the last column as the numbers column like here EE it's the number column put it as the last parameter average if sum if the last column or the last parameter is the parameter or the column with the number be added or to be averaged.